My name is Isalis Quinones and I am a Dartmouth 19 and a Thayer 20 and I am an engineer and an Olympian. I became interested in engineering, I think just because of the hands-on um, aspect of it. I ended up taking Engines 2 my freshman winter, and that's pretty much what got me started in engineering. I just loved the group setting, um, learning about buildings. We ended up building a cardboard chair. You had to build a life-size chair that a human can sit in, completely made out of cardboard. And I think in terms of engineering, the reason why I was so attracted to that class was one, the, the group aspect of building something as a team um, and accomplishing something as a team was just super fun to me. And then also taking something that not a lot of people think can happen and, and making it into reality. Engineering definitely relates to basketball. Again, with that like team aspect, that's what I relate to the most, putting together various different people with different learning experiences, all this, just different environments, different types of people. Putting them together to accomplish one common goal, it's the same with engineering, it's the same with basketball. I loved playing for Dartmouth. It's an amazing community to play in, and obviously being surrounded by such brilliant minds, also students who go to Dartmouth. It's a fun dynamic to be a part of. I got involved in the Puerto Rican national team because um, obviously I'm Puerto Rican. My parents were born and raised on the island. Well, the Olympic process is a long one. It's basically making each tournament, so they narrow down the tournaments from, it starts from 12 teams, then the top 10 of those 12 teams go to another tournament, and then it goes down to eight, then four, then finally it, it, it'll narrow down to to three countries in a specific region that, that make it to the Olympics. This is the first time that Puerto Rican women's basketball national team has, has made it to the Olympics. So we, we made history. When you're an athlete, you obviously dream of the highest dream you can get to. For a lot of athletes, that is the Olympics. It is for me. Not a lot of people can say they're an engineer. Not a lot of people can say they're an Olympian. Um, and to be able to say that I'm both an Olympian and an engineer is Oh, <laughs> it's, it's a mouthful, that's for sure.